Hey, what's going on everyone? So the news post for RuneScape's brand new game mode just dropped and it's called Fresh Start World. So I thought we would take a look at the news post together and I'll give you guys some thoughts on it. I've already read through the news post and I have a lot of opinions and a lot of ideas about it, but uh, I want to take you guys through it uh, first and foremost. So Fresh Start Worlds come live on September the 12th. You get a pet if you sign up, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so it says rediscover RuneScape together. It's a special four month members event where everyone plays on a level playing field. Start your new character with fresh skills and a fresh world and a new economy and grand exchange. Level up fast with XP boosts and gameplay buffs. Um, so basically it's similar to old school's leagues. They have a several month long time limited event um, where it's just you log into these special worlds and on these worlds, uh, it's basically a restart. And I think this is a really good idea because it allows you to fast track the end game. Say you're a casual RuneScape player, you haven't played in a while, it gives you the ability to use all these boosts and experience more of the game than you normally would for your time, which I think is really cool. And they're talking about how it's going to be on a level playing field. There might be some cool content to make, and there may also be some really interesting competitions. So you've got XP boosts, buffs, all new grand exchange, rewards, and high scores. So quick look at some of the uh, you know rewards. These look pretty interesting. Challenger armor. I'm not huge into cosmetics, but yeah, for some people, this could be really interesting. Got a lance that levels up as your combat levels rise. So that could be interesting as well for a great number of things. Um, but now let's get into the details of this actual game mode. First thing here is for the first eight weeks, all players can compete for Fresh Start World's high scores and world first. Seems good. MTX will be limited during the first eight weeks to rune coins and bonds to keep the race fair. If I was racing and the person next to me was buying bonds for effectively infinite GP, I wouldn't really call that fair. And already we're running into issues where you can now get a competitive advantage right off release uh, by buying bonds. And I think this whole idea of, you know, giving people a fresh start and re-experience RuneScape, but it's not really a fresh start if you're immediately throwing MTX in the middle of it. Um, and then you've also got world first broadcast throughout the event that surely if they're, you know, based on XP or skills or boss skills, uh, would go to people who are buying bonds to be able to fund what they're doing. Um, so anyway, that's sort of the whole news post, except there's one more thing, which is that Fresh Start Worlds require a new account and subscription. I think it's tough as a RuneScape 3 player because we've wanted limited time game modes for so long that like I'm borderline like excited about this just because it's a limited time game mode of some kind. The idea is really good and it could be extremely fun, but there are a lot of issues with this, in my opinion. The fact that old school's leagues get a ton of brand new, unique, original content in that time limited event. They get all of the other perks and they're allowed to play on their own accounts. But for RS3, we have to make a new one and repay membership and subscribe again. To me, that doesn't seem okay. I don't know if it's for cash grab reasons or whatnot, but it's so clearly different from what old school gets. And that's really upsetting and disappointing because I think the idea that's been passed around a lot is like, yeah, RS3 leagues would be so cool. And then they do things like this that are kind of setting them up, in my opinion, to fail. This does not look like something I'd be interested in playing. And I could see a lot of the content creators choosing not to play this game mode. Like I've been looking forward to this for probably four years. Just the idea that RuneScape 3 was gonna get their own seasonal event or this limited time event. And I think the actual idea is incredible. But I don't know how you can say all players can compete for Fresh Start Worlds and then the line under talk about how there's going to be some MTX for the first half and all MTX for the back half. And then two lines under that, you've got that it requires a new account and a subscription. So anyway, my thoughts on this are, I think if they keep it like this, I don't, I don't see it being remotely successful. I don't think a lot of people are going to be interested in playing it. And that's a really big shame because it might even send the wrong message to Jagex that's like, oh yeah, limited time events, they don't work at RS3. But I think they absolutely do fit. I just think RuneScape 3 players are tired of every single thing we get having to be tied in to microtransactions or some form of monetization. No one wants to feel like they're playing a cash cow game. And this was a perfect opportunity for RuneScape and Jagex to come out with something that was exciting, that was awesome, that could be played by a mass of players and really create a lot of momentum and excitement for the game. It gives new players an opportunity to spend less time grinding and experience the end game. And it overall could have been really, really fun. But in my opinion, this specific implementation is really, really disappointing. And to me, it sets it up for failure. So anyway, that's my opinion. I'd love to hear yours. I know, you know, a lot of people like have different opinions. A lot of people might say, you know, it's not a big deal. It's okay. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to play it. And that's totally fair too. Um, the last thing I want to say too is I don't want to see anyone like personally attacking any devs or the people that have actually worked on this update. 
because this is not their fault. They're doing the best they can with the situation that is given to them, and they have design objectives. And it just sucks that every single little thing in RuneScape 3 needs a design objective of how can this make us more money. But anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on the Fresh Start Worlds. And I think for Jagex, it's going to be really important the next few weeks to communicate why some of these decisions were made. I think if you can give your player base a good, strong reason more than just this is a money grab for you know why microtransactions are gonna be available or why we need a new account when Old School didn't, I think a lot of the success of this update is gonna depend on how they can actually respond to these criticisms because I think they're pretty fair criticisms. But either way, we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see how it plays out. Um, as of right now, if it was released tomorrow, I don't think I would be playing this game mode, but we'll have to see how the next month goes. So anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. And I will, uh, I will catch you in the next one that will hopefully be a little less ranty. And uh, yeah, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep covering this update, following it. And hopefully in a month's time, we've got ourselves a brand new limited time event that uh, you know, is something that could be really fun for a lot of people to play. One other thing I'm going to add here is since the point that I started recording this video, uh, there's been a JMod update from Mod Hooli. Um, so the first thing is that I want to stress this isn't the full picture of what Fresh Start Worlds actually is, and there's context missing. So it does seem like they are going to be covering this and, and giving us more details. And it also possibly gives them an opportunity to make some changes, which would be really good. But that seems really good that they're kind of making a commitment to communicate here. Um, they also want to clarify a few things. Uh, so the first thing is this is not RuneScape's attempt at a leagues or a seasonal game mode. It's something made specifically to celebrate 300 million accounts. Accounts in Fresh Start Worlds are full fat RuneScape accounts that follow you into the main game. Your account is not deleted or reset at the end of the Fresh Start Worlds. So that's really interesting. And to me, that could make this a really good way to fast track people to the end game. If you're a brand new player, this could be a great time to start playing RuneScape. But if that's the true objective, oh, the news post just got taken down. Um, if that's the true objective of the Fresh Start Worlds, I don't know why in the news post it's angled as a competition of sorts and keeping things fair and, and all this stuff, because those two things kind of seem to go against each other. If it's specifically designed to fast track people to the end game, they should say that and they should angle it like that. And then, you know, people won't be comparing it to leagues. But as of right now, based on what was in the news post that has now been taken down, it doesn't look like that's all they wanted this to be. Either way, it's going to be really interesting to follow up. Um, and honestly, as someone who's loved RuneScape for a really long time, I hope they can figure it out and put something out that people are really excited to play and doesn't leave a bad taste in anybody's mouth.